there's a there's a hole in a wall. Okay, so we're in this house, but there's a hole in the wall, and you can see other rooms through this hole, rooms that you can't get to anywhere else. So these rooms were blocked up with a, a wall for a reason. It's a bone hung from the ceiling. No way! Look at this. There's a noose. It looks like it's been hanging here for quite some time as well. It's not like the other. Oh. I. Brian, I need to get out of here now. No, no, no. Don't go, don't go in there, bro. No, my, my phone. My, I've battered my battery. The door just slammed. Just hurry up, please. It's raining, it's pouring The old man is snoring He went to bed and bumped his head Couldn't get up in the morning It's raining, it's pouring The old man is snoring He went Okay, so do I have a spooky treat for you tonight? I'm gonna tell you more. Let me get inside. I mean, this place is old. Look at the old glass balls over there. Okay, so right now, I'm at a location. Now, the house is destroyed. The place is falling to bits. It's, it's not something I would ever film normally. Um, Andrew's been here before. I'm gonna drop some short clips, tiny clips, just to show you uh, what he was doing before because it, it, I'm kind of jumping into the middle of something here. Um, Andrew's here and there's a, <laughs> there's a hole in a wall, okay? So we're in this house, but there's a hole in the wall and you can see other rooms through this hole, rooms that you can't get to anywhere else. So these rooms were blocked up with a, a wall for a reason. So we're gonna go and see if we can get some, obviously we can't get through the wall, the holes are too small apparently, Andrew got stuck in it. So we're gonna basically just stick the EMF detectors through, EVP recorders, and we're gonna see what's what we could what we can sense because Andrew claims to have seen what he thinks was a grave of some sort. I'm gonna let him tell you a bit more in a minute, but yeah, I mean it sounds crazy, and I'm all about crazy. We're adventuring on this channel, so why not? Let's come and document whatever happens here tonight. I'm gonna pass you to Andrew. Uh, so Andrew, what's what's going on here? Right, Dan. Um, I know I'm bringing you into something that is quite deep. Uh, on my channel, this is a part three that I'm filming tonight. But long story short, 
I originally came to this house because of an old rumor, a local rumor about this house that the farmer had disappeared. Uh, people have been experiencing paranormal activity. The kids don't like coming here, right? Basically, I came here and experienced some kind of poltergeist activity, but I also realized that there were these holes in the wall that I could see through, but I couldn't really, I wasn't really prepared to go through them at the time. Brings to the next time I come here. I went through the wall. I went downstairs. I heard what sounded like, uh, I don't even know, it was like a child giggle. I found some messed up voodoo doll. Now, the voodoo doll itself, I think, was put here recently. Maybe other kids coming here and doing rituals. I don't know, right? But we, you know, we were going to call it after I found the doll. I went downstairs, and it appears that there is a child's grave in the ground. There's no floor. It's all dirt. It's an indoor grave. So I've already searched that, checked it out. But there's another hole here in this house, one that I haven't had a chance to go to yet, and that's what I'm bringing you here tonight. Um, I, I mean, it's spooky season. What can I say? I gotta do it. It's it's like one in the morning right now, dude, and we had nothing better to do. So I figured I got I gotta I promised everyone I'd do a part three here, but I wanted to show you this because I mean, have you ever seen an indoor graveyard before? Um, yeah, you have. Well, I see. I saw one. Uh, which was at the Pink Floyd Mansion, and it was actually a gravestone. It said um, "Little Jack" on it. Indoors. Yes. Okay, indoors. so I, I've been hearing in the comment section of mine as well. It's not that uncommon, but uh, well, back in the late eighteenth, uh, mid eighteenth century, late eighteenth century, yeah, sometimes they bury in the basement. Okay. Well, but that was sometimes pets, sometimes children. So. Well. Tonight we're going to go check out Mystery Hole number two and uh, see what we can do. Maybe we can get a better look inside. Let's do it. Alright. Uh, I want to explore. I don't like this house, honestly. It gives me the creeps. You guys already know this. We've discussed this. Alright, it scares great. the hell out of me, actually. It's creepy in here. Dude, no way. Alright, everybody watching. You know, you've been following the series. Uh, I swear, I swear on everything, I did not do this. I did not, I swear on my life, I did not do this. I did not open this wall. But that... What do you mean? Alright, well... Wait, because I've not seen your videos yet. What do you mean you've not opened it? Before, it was literally, and I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a clip right now for people to watch. It was literally this big, okay? It, I, I could barely put the camera through. Um, somebody's gone and done the work for us. So, wait a minute. This was the only hole to the other side of... No, no, there's one upstairs that I already went through. But I'm going to tell you now, I can see that there wasn't a new secret room. This goes directly into the graves. By the way, I want to say, do you notice how high up... The, the dirt level is up to here. Now... As you can see, there's the children's grave. There's the mounds on the floor. Take a look, you haven't seen it yet. So we're going through this. Everyone's been on me about not doing a proper ghost hunt by the graves, so... So, uh, wait a minute, what makes you think there's graves here? Uh, what's... Just climb through with me and I'll show you. Because what I'm... Right, I'll tell you what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing the roof has collapsed. See these beams here? Yeah. I think they're the same kind of beams that are on the floor there. So the entire roof is, is falling down, which means these are fake support beams here. Because on that, it's concrete. But, wh where is, where's the grave? Oh wait, what's this? That. You know how oh. like children's graves have that grating around them, right? Wh yeah. Um, you, you know there's bones in there. Oi. You, what? You know there's bones in there. No, I can't. There's bones. Uh, there's bones inside there. Oh my gosh. Uh, again, I can't reiterate this enough, guys. I swear I didn't do this. Somebody's been here. Oh, there's a door open. What? There's also like an open door there. I didn't notice last time. I don't know if that goes outside or what, but. Somebody's opened that door, and then somebody's broken open the wall. 
But I, why? I, I don't know if I want to go through first or last. Your choice. I'd rather go through first, I think, because uh, I'm paranoid today, I don't know why. Go on. Well, if you go through first, there's an open door to your left so you can escape real quick. Uh, an open door to where? I don't know, I think it goes outside. There's a window there that's boarded up. So that, that door was sealed shut the last time I came here, so... Why would it be open now? No idea. This is what I'm saying though, bro. Right, listen. Last time I was here, I found that voodoo doll, right? Now, the voodoo doll, it looked kind of old, but the tape around it, it was bound up in duct tape. It, it looked, like, new. So somebody had come in. And also, when I went back through my original footage, it wasn't there. So somebody frequents this house, and this is clear enough, because who the hell would have broken down this wall? Right? Yeah. So, something's going on, and I don't know if it's a direct cause to me doing a video here or not. But I'm just excited to get through and look. Right, I'm going to go through first. Huh? All right. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in the comment section, I need you to like, give me your honest to God opinion on this. Why do you think somebody's broken through the wall? It stinks in there. That's going to have ammonia. Ammonia? Like, yeah, like animal piss. Yeah. I feel like I upset somebody. Like why, why, when I'm talking about going through this hole, is the hole wide open? I don't know. I don't know. People, let me know down below, please. Was them bricks in there when you was here? You what? Was the bricks in there when you was here? Bricks in where? Here. Uh, I don't remember. Honestly, it's been... I, I didn't stay very long when I was here. Solid. Oh, it's dark in here. Everybody, seriously. Well, I just got back from the catacombs. I'm used to touching bones, but look at that. What? All right. Right, well, just let me change my battery quickly. Right, one thing I will say right now, and I've seen this before, I know about this. Huh. You recording? I'm recording now. We've got to watch out here. Because I see something already that's worrying me. And I know exactly what it is and what it means. What? You see that there? That's a bone hung from the ceiling. No way! Right, I mean listen. Okay. Do you know what that? Do you know what that is for? What? Um, the travelling community, gypsies, actually do that as a curse. They hang bones up in places as curse. Like, it's like a curse. There was a guy who um, you might remember actually. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he was um, a farmer. And basically, what happened is a, a couple of travellers broke into his uh, house. And they thought it was an abandoned house, but he was asleep upstairs anyway. He came down, shot one of them, killed them there and then. And uh, there was a big, big uproar from the the farming community saying, you know, like you should be able to protect your your own property. Yeah. You know, he was defending his property. Anyway, while he was in prison, 
all the whole the, the traveller's family came to his house and hung bones up all in the living room and stuff as a curse. And you can see that on some people's videos now. People have been in there, it's abandoned. People have been in there and all the bones are still hung up there as a curse. And that's what that is. That's a curse. Yeah, it's like a like a curse. Like I'm afraid to step on this because I honestly thought that there was like this was like part of a grave, but now better looking at it, it doesn't appear to be I don't think so anyway, it doesn't appear to be a grave, but I find that interesting. But that's a yeah, it's a curse. It's a, it's a gypsy curse. Right. There's a bowl with bones on the ground. If this is some kind of gypsy curse, I'm I'm really curious what, what it's supposed to do. You know, the farmer is said to have gone missing here. You think perhaps he pissed off a gypsy? Well, what do you mean he went missing? Did he go, did he go That's missing? That's the urban legend with this place. That the farmer uh, that used to live here just upped and went missing, just disappeared, and no one's lived here since. That's the legend that the kids say around here. Okay. Look at the stair, the cobwebs. Yeah, I know. But that worries me. But that worries me more that it's fresh. Look at that string, it's, it's pretty much clean. That can't be there longer than a month. No. I so if that wasn't there on your last video... I don't recall it being here. Right, so I'm going to leave this bit. I do find that strange. Um, it, it does look like a, a gate you find at like an old cemetery. Um, could be something for the fireplace. Uh, which, obviously we've got a fireplace there. But then again, it doesn't explain why it's here. And it looks like, like a little grave setting. Not sure. Strange. But let's... Uh, Let's head through into the next room. Yeah, um, if... Oh God, it gets worse. Right, so, I'm gonna be honest with you. The voodoo doll I found, I left it upstairs. I'm really curious now if it's still upstairs or if somebody's moved it. Yeah, okay. Be careful with these stairs. They are a little fragile, but we made it down all right, so I don't see why they wouldn't make it up all right. This whole house doesn't feel very safe. No, it's probably not. So here's the other hole in the wall, guys, if you remember from the last video. Ah! <laughs> I just bumped my head and that scared me. See, the book is here. What's the booted all the this is a noose, bro. Yeah, that's what was hanging, uh, that's what the voodoo doll was hanging from. Alright, let's have a look in that room. Yeah. The strange thing is, all this floor and the way it's all muddy and stuff like this, reminds me of like a, an old, um, an old farmhouse that started to be used as like, for like um, animals. Yeah, it could be. It reminds me. I don't know. All I can say is this part of the house has seen a lot less love than the other part. And I want to add, yeah, the new. Yeah. Is still here. Look, it has little eggs over there for eggs. Yeah. Look at this. There's a noose. It looks like it's been hanging here for quite some time as well. It's not like the other. Uh, the bones downstairs are hanging from the ceiling. This looks like it's been in for a while. Oh, watch the floor. Yeah. The floor's moving. It's definitely been used as some kind of farmhouse. So look, you've got all the egg trays there. So definitely had animals in here at some point. It could be, could explain the grave. Maybe the grave was for animals, we don't know. More like a pen? Uh, a no, grave. more like an animal grave, yeah, maybe. I don't know what it is about this place. It creeps me the hell out. Maybe it's just all the all the cobwebs all over the floor. It's just there's all these like wires and like string hanging hanging from everywhere. It scares me. Now I was super lucky. I didn't turn off my camera once. So this is a raw footage clip. No cuts, no jump cuts, no nothing. Now watch, I'm leaving this room. Right here, the door is completely open. It's a solid door, you hear it shutting because it's loud. Just watch what happens. Excuse me. Right, you ready to do 
of spare parts. Yeah. I've only got I've only got four minutes left of um Better? recording. Really? Let's get it done. Right. Turn that light. Yeah. Okay. Do me a favor. Um so I got no way to record myself. Right, right. Pass me your camera. Yeah. Just hit record. So I want to do is do a quick spare thing then. Yeah, yeah. Come but I, I got to do this. Right. Can you please tell me who's here with us? What's happened in this house? Is this house haunted? Can you say the word haunted for me if it's haunted? It's magic. It's magic. That makes sense with everything that's been happening. It's magic. The, the freaking gypsy curse, the voodoo doll. It's magic. Is that is that what's causing the activity here? I'm in here for what? Like oh, forever? Don't know. It almost sounds like said, I'm in here forever. What happened? Has somebody binded you to this house? Are you the farmer? Can you say farmer? If you're the farmer, I just got a really cool Yeah, me show. too. Bible. Bible. Are you the farmer? Just say the word farmer. I'm trying to find the farmer. Alexander. Hello, Alex. Where are you? Please tell me, where are you? Are you here? Are you here in this house? Can you say in the house? Since I've gotten I know, but I, I can hear stuff back there. Hello? I've only got like one minute recording time left on my camera as well. <laughs> right, well, then we could probably go downstairs. Yeah, you gotta watch out because there's. Alright, here, give me my camera then. Just watch out because there's a hole here. That's the only problem. Yeah, that's fine. Right, I can't I'm just trying to be secretive. Yeah, it's gone past. Right, right well, I think I'm done with this place anyway. That scares the hell out of me standing that so that news anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right, well I need to get a tiny bit more filming done at the uh, grave downstairs. Because uh -huh. my, my viewers would hate me if I didn't do a spirit box at the grave. Okay. Alright. Oh. I... Right, I need to get out of here now. No, 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 no don't, no, don't no, go no, in there, bro. No, 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 no. My, my phone, my battery, my battery, the door can't. just slammed. Bro, don't. I'm. Oh, what? Just, uh, I felt like go, oh, go in, go in. I just want to see first. I don't want to sign in the hallway. No, go. Just. <laughs> All right, which way are we going out now? That's my spirit box, I'm sorry. I'm really oh, jumping. God's sake. I'm really jumping. Right, I need to get out of here now. I've, I've, I don't think it's recorded anything because I'm. So let me get my stuff and you have my torch. What? Don't you have my torch? No. Oh, crap. Sorry, I'm panicking. No. Oh, uh, crap. 
I don't think it, I recorded anything because my thing says zero. What? Just come on, let's go. All right, hold on. All right, all my stuff is up here, bro. Just hurry up, please. And that is where my uh, my memory card ran out of space. Uh, exactly four minutes from when I said it was going to. Uh, but I'm so glad I got that fully uncut, unedited, raw, so you could see exactly what happened. That's the first time I've ever actually physically had something happen like that. Um, it scared the hell out of me. I wasn't expecting it, so I just had to get out of there. Plus, I had no more space on my memory card to record, so... But here you go, you can hear the swooping sound. Just listen to this. Now, on the floor, as you can already see, there's a lot of dirt, there's a lot of build-up. So for that door to have been closed like that needed a hell of a lot of force because even to open it, it needed quite a bit of force. Uh, I don't know what to say. All I know is I cannot explain that. There was no one else with us. We made sure I was in that room before it happened. I walked in the room after it happened. Leave a comment below. Can you explain it? What do you think?